my friends, Natasha with Natasha Scrapbook Corner and today I'm coming to you with a project that I created with uh, our Alice in Wonderland uh, kit and uh, that is actually uh, it, you're looking at it um, it has um, lots of embellishments, little doodads, butterflies, stickers, uh, some uh, trims and feathers and stems, uh, ribbons and laces, uh, some mesh, uh, metal charms, I'm trying to go uh, a little mold to make your little Alice, uh, some fabric, some doilies, some uh, tutu to flower with the bow, um, some uh, washi tapes, right here a variety of washi tapes um, the uh, flowers tags as I said uh, doilies um, the uh, uh, rosette uh, roses bushes uh, for Alice story uh, pre-printed um, ephemera in here for you uh, to create with some uh, of uh, the uh, time clock uh, um, tissue paper and uh, this is retired collection from UK you cannot find it any longer uh, I've been ordering it from all the way from Australia and I think the last time I saw uh, the full pad of 12 by 12 paper somewhere on Etsy uh, it was going for $60 or something like that so this is one of the older um, enchanted tea party collections by um, uh, good, uh, Cottage uh, Creations so I never heard of it but when I saw this collection it was released in 2016 so it's pretty old so you have a uh, lost heroes here so and by the time you are gonna be watching this video I'm not sure if any kids are gonna be left but the project that I will be uh, sharing with you um, is created uh, with this uh, beautiful uh, kit. So, um, and if you, so there you go. Th this is actually a different collection, um, but few sheets from there. So, anyway, uh, that was the um, Alice in Wonderland uh, kit. If you wonder um, what it was, so. Now to the uh, project itself. If you follow me long enough, you know I'm absolutely crazy about Alice in Wonderland. So uh, this is actually the swap project for uh, my partner. So it's going to be released um, after she will receive the um, the um, project. And that is a swap that is hosted by NSK and friends on the Facebook. Um, that is our challenges and games and swaps. That's the fun group to be a member with. And uh, plus you will know the latest, newest uh, releases, sales and arrivals from our shop, which is Natasha Scrapbook Corner. All the links going to be below. So the theme of uh, that month was um, to create an altered envelopes and my partner um, uh, decided to uh, let me loose and, and uh, said just create something. Um, I'm gonna love it. <laughs> so um, yes of course it's gonna be Alice okay uh, we were supposed to create uh, three tags and three envelopes and as you know I'm a little bit overachiever uh, let's get going so it's gonna be a little bit more than three so uh, that is the first um, envelope that I created uh, again using this kit 
here you see the elements of washi tapes, the uh, printed stuff, um, the little, uh, you know, um, postage and stamps. This is, of course, my personal stamps. Uh, here is this uh, mesh as a border. And in here, um, I actually glossy accented uh, the elements of the paper. And uh, that is the Red Queen. And this is coming from those washi tapes. So um, you can do your own stickers. So you can just fuzzy cut the images. So the washi tapes are very much fun and versatile to use. So um, if the kits are sold, I'm sure the washi tapes uh, you can uh, purchase at uh, the shop. So, um, and uh, that's how it basically going to look. Uh, I decided to go ahead and do like a little um, banners or um, no, the um, altered ones or whatever. But this one I turned into the uh, flag. Um, and I use the scraps of the paper. So, because they are double sided, you can see that that tear is kind of like even so much fun so um, I left it simple as this so my partner will be able to reuse the stuff you know um, I love uh, people reusing stuff um, so I'm putting as a gift one of my personal um, stashes the industrial chic um, um, collection it's retired it's uh, been uh, sold in Michaels so but um, I know she's gonna love those little elements um, and um, of course there is a little bit of applique for her so that's like a little gifty in uh, the envelope and um, let's see the uh, finish um, at the uh, um, alteration of the envelope because we had to create three envelopes so that's one of the uh, things that we are supposed to pay attention to so uh, this is a dangle trim um, part of the dangle trim from NSK uh, the one that has uh, the border on top uh, again a crocheted lace from um, NSK and this is the, uh, my personal stash uh, that used to be uh, the shop, um, a little dreamer, uh, artist shop. She doesn't have it any longer. And this is some uh, bling from the um, Shayla's um, uh, stashes. Um, uh, Shayla's uh, is uh, an um, admin and owns the group on a Facebook. Uh, Boho Day Dreams, where she actually uh, sells the bundles of sari uh, and bling and stuff like that. So, um, check, uh, uh, find that group. If you don't know, follow me. I will guide you. So, that's that. And the tag uh, for uh, this one, I use the Prima tags. They're not included in the kit, but um, you definitely can find the tags or cut out out of the thicker chipboard. It's just a basically background, nothing more. Um, this um, uh, ribbons um, we still have in the shop. We have sim binding, but that's included in the kit. And um, basically, here is the feathers. Um, the butterfly uh, which I actually put on spiral um, um, spring that I actually twisted around the pencil and th there you go the fuzzy cutted elements of the cards and here's um, an example of what you can do with the washi tape here's an Alice so you basically put it on an, on a regular card stock and you have your um, um, element so yeah and uh, here's the uh, um, cards uh, the uh, mad hatter you know more cards and I glossy accented if you see that glare I love to do that element so um, again the uh, the feather that's included in the kit um, in here I just did um, some of this um, tissue paper right here uh, mud podged on the tag um, then I used the washi tape as an element and the mesh as an element and scraps of the paper and then I added the loose um, 
beads that I have in my stash. This is one of the strips of mesh that you see I created in the pocket kind of tab. Um, this is element that um, you have a print of uh, the little rabbit so you can fuzzy cut him a little bow, a little butterfly. Um, uh, this um, you know printed um, teapot and here's an escape wooden pieces that you are getting in the kit uh, of course and a little mushroom so that stuff you are getting in the kit so and um, that's how you will tuck in your um, tags in here what's not and the feather comes in there there you have it so that was um, if I only can right if that was tag number one and envelope number one so right there all right so let me put it all back together so um, I really really I was kind of like a little bit struggling with this but then over sudden it all kind of you know made sense and it all come together so nicely so and that would be like really nice presentation and if she would to do like a junk journal um, she can definitely you know punch the holes and use the envelopes for something else so I was trying to I mean she can remove the rows and stuff but basically basically that's what I was kind of like uh, everybody on the wave with the junk journals now and, and I think I'm kind of getting ready mentally for it I never done the junk journal so I have a lot of people around me who are making and inspiring me so um, thank you so very much uh, everybody and I'm just you know I'm just trying to prepare myself mentally to <laughs> do this job so let's let's get going to um, next envelope which was actually created the first um, envelope and that uh, that envelope started me and that is a boho envelope okay uh, so uh, yes uh, the huge uh, shout out to Shayla and all uh, her wonderful ladies in a group boho day dreamers girls you rock you just absolutely phenomenal and I uh, your um, shares of your craft is absolutely uh, so inspirational that uh, it takes you to a next level so um, okay in here I uh, created this beautiful bond uh, with their um, just a um, I didn't use the die cut I just use my punch board and scoreboard and I use the puncher all around and I use the 12 by 12 piece of paper and that's how you just score it and then you uh, corrugate it and that's it here's your rosette use the doily um, the oh, I have actually at the shop we have the doily kit the paper doily kit so if you need some doilies grab that and uh, yeah it makes that wonderful sound I love that crinkling sound and this is another scrap of the paper you can clearly see the punch right here on the edge and I decided to leave it as simple as that because everything in here is loaded so uh, moving on and uh, the gift the gift is again the uh, the uh, uh, industrial chick um, Hard. I this is one of my favorite pieces, and I'm was kind of hoarding it. But uh, this is going to a special person. I admire her, and uh, I've always been a big fan of her crafts. She doesn't do YouTube videos any longer. Um, so, but um, uh, since first time I ever been introduced to her craft. I uh, I mean I was a big fan and uh, this is one of my personal you know like uh, bling uh, that I picked up somewhere on the line and they are going to her um, I for, there are some people that you don't mind to share your uh, sacred hoard vault 
<laughs> treasures so uh, she is falling into that category um, lots of respect and lots of love I absolutely admire her okay so uh, that's um, a personal note there and um, let's take a look at the tag again um, this is um, based on the Prima tags I really love um, the variety and you know the colors and they don't uh, really press in on you but you can definitely cut out any chipboard and and go ahead and do that so in here there is lots of stuff going on and nothing really pulls out so I'm gonna be kind of explaining um, on top uh, you see the uh, tissue paper that was much budge um, on the top then I had a paper that I cut in the middle um, and rolled out like a pocket and then under, uh, and then I put like a doilies underneath of that uh, so you can see doily peeking up in here and in that opening that lip of the paper rolled paper um, right here you see I tucked in some um, NSK stamps, floral stamps. This is some pieces from the uh, that chick, whatever that uh, gifts the industrial chick. So um, they not exist anymore uh, unless you can find them on eBay. That's been long time um, stuff uh, in my calls. So here's a couple more feathers. Uh, some of uh, the plain cards in here uh, that leaf trim in here the metal key so I just basically layered there is a little piece of fabric right there and that is from Shayla's bundle stash that I purchased from her uh, from the boho day dreams and in here like in that uh, swirl of that tear paper I just decided uh, that Matt Hatter was kind of touching in here and I decided it was empty and I found um, this um, bubble beads I think we were with uh, Luisa KSP with Luisa and Janet Nana JL54 hi girls when we were um, um, gathering together we, we're doing it like once a year it's becoming tradition like around uh, birthday and stuff and uh, we are going shopping and that was picked up at um, Hobby Lobby and that was one of the wedding stamps that was on clearance whatever so um, this piece is also industrial chic I do believe uh, some this is actually the Torah fabric and some um, sari um, uh, ribbons which I absolutely love and I got um, hooked up on all this sari and silks by the boho day dream dreamers group they are phenomenal so um, right here you see like a little resin piece um, um, I did a tutorial on how to use the uh, large uh, uh, fondant cake silicone molds um, uh, using the uh, the paste so um, that's been done by this technique um, and actually I did the recent tutorial in our closed group so um, someone who is um, in our group they probably remember so um, this is I just created like a little a smash if you remember the uh, Matt Hatter had always something on his like um, a belt or whatever lots of ribbons and snippets and stuff so here it is you know the mesh the the ripped uh, fabric some of that dangle trim from an SK some ribbons from an SK this is beads from my stash so it's kind of like you know like his tassel on him and um, in a kit you're gonna get some of the metal filigrees not everything um, so doilies and the bling um, this is actually came from the heart trim from NSK uh, one of the bling trims that we have we have a variety of them um, so and in here you have a little snippet of um, 
lace which you do get this one in the uh, kit and uh, again another layer of mesh and uh, this one the bling trim is from my stash so uh, that's um, a lot going on in here so <laughs> I know I hope um, I hope I show you and explain to you everything to the best of my ability because they became absolutely loaded so uh, that's him um, so now to the envelope um, okay I have to unclip this um, thing because that is actually um, another element that's been ex uh, inspired by the group by the boho day uh, dreamers uh, daydreams um, and that is uh, the altered uh, jumbo clip and basically what you see here it's a snippet of fabric right here and um, some of the things most of the things been hand stitched so I basically um, started to layer things and uh, the first I had this snippet of this um, turquoise fabric um, that is the top of this lace from NSK. This beady trim is from my personal stash and this flower trim is my personal stash. Um, here you see that mesh that you're getting in the kit. Right here, this uh, mesh flowers. Uh, this trim is my personal stash, of course. And some sequins and beads. That is something that I purchased on eBay. Um, looking for you know saris and you know boho style things um, and the back is um, much more simple but I really like how it came out this is one of the recent trims that I picked up via shopping with someone I don't remember I think it was Louisa and Jen I don't we were deciding on which trim I should get here it is girls I'm using it so and here's the that snippet of lace that you get in in the kit so basically that's it you know so it's just a little um, altered snippet I don't know what you are gonna be hanging <laughs> for I don't know but I really love doing it so that's like a little gifty and coming back to the envelope hello envelope um, so again, um, I made the envelope using the punch board for the envelopes. I'm sure you all know uh, we are kept we are memory keepers. So I ran around here a sequence trim that you can pick up at NSK. We have them in all sorts of colors. Uh, here's this mesh again from NSK and this dangle uh, glass uh, uh, pearl. Uh, the dangle trim is uh, my personal stash. Uh, this is one of the leather uh, bling bows that Luisa, KSP with Luisa High says, uh, made for me a long, long time ago. So I uh, created an altered paper clip using one of her bows. I still have plenty and in here I decided to use um, that uh, the fuzzy cut element uh, the teapot and I created again torn effect with the little saints and this is I actually have it right here this is one of the whoo something ran across uh, one of the chains that NSK has they are sold separately on different colors and stuff so but I thought it was such a cool element um, it added just enough spark to the uh, um, to the page and of course I glossy accented and distressed everything I put the beads here and here and I love doing this element it's almost like you would use those um, uh, uh, prima textured balls but this is like real beads and and I love doing that um, it gives that pop of color and dimension and all of the above so um, and the front is actually much more simpler and in here I used a little snippet of that um, beaded trim um, you can pick it up sometimes at Joann's on sale when they go on sale so pick up 
couple yards and will go a long way. Uh, so this is the sequin stream again an escape product. I really, I, you know what? Not everybody is a fan of the sequin stream, but look how amazingly it's serving as as a trimmed edge. This is uh, phenomenal. I love using it. It adds enough sparkle and it looks very classic and very clean. So I love it. So this is one of the mesh elements that you get in, in the kit. I fuzzy cut it. The frame, there is like a frame. So uh, I fuzzy cut the elements, distressed them and I separated that group. It comes like on a page. It comes as a, you know, the whole um, element like a circle I put one side in here one side in here glossy accented elements because I love my run uh, running my finger over it because it's almost 3d and then you get in the metal filigree uh, in there so there you have it uh, so that is uh, this um, tag with a mad header and I absolutely love, 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 love how that combo came out. Um, yeah, this is like total buffle. Okay, let's move on. I'm gonna pack it later. Um, the next one will be for the uh, um, shabby chic lovers. <laughs> Hello. So, um, one element you've seen on one of my live streams, I was altering the paparazzi uh, jewelry that I actually picked up uh, on one of the live stream sales from Lisa. Hi Lisa, if you're watching. Uh, so here it is. Uh, it serves its purpose. I picked up two necklaces and I uh, actually I was picking them up um, for that specific reason to alter them one day and use maybe take them apart and you know and use them on something um, you know something something so uh, so there's the paparazzi piece and I will try to remember to link that um, live stream down below so you can go ahead and check it out so I started with the um, altering the earrings I just simply placed this beautiful doilies and it ca it came on a ribbon and basically what it was it was chain I'm sorry I need to open it up it was like a chain dangle chain just like that right um, and uh, this element uh, was untouched and I just uh, started to adding little things in here and there so in here here's you see um, an escape dangle bling um, that is layered on top of some doilies and some sari ribbons and on the back uh, I just had uh, like a little um, doilies and little appliques and this is one of the resin flowers that you can purchase in our shop as well so here's some um, rose, roses flowers paper flowers from my stash and here it is this is the dangle bling trim one of my favorites and you saw the other bead in there uh, it comes uh, the the bow the little bling the bow the bling so that's how the trim goes you're welcome to check it out uh, this is actually a uh, next um, element that was decorated um, and this is uh, one of the NSK bling buttons as well. Um, I absolutely love um, how it's part. it has so much vibe in and we have that in that clear kind of color and one is more tea color. Oh my goodness, it's the most gorgeous bling I ever, ever seen in my life. So I'm so lucky enough to carry them uh, in my shop. So that's awesome. So here is you see the layer of uh, like um, appliques and wedding appliques and stuff, some flowers. And on the back, uh, you see this beautiful pink crochet doily. And this is one of the flat back uh, pearl buttons with the, I think it's two or three um, rings of the um, rhinestones going around. We have them in all sorts of colors, so check them out. Um, so next element was just uh, tied of the um, 
Asari ribbons and then uh, hold on just a second I dangled so here is you know some flowers and what's not um, so the next element was this a little pretty applique bow with a little heart on top some uh, crushed seam binding and then here I was indecisive but then I finally pulled out in my personal stash the trim and I uh, took the snippets okay so the last element on this um, necklace is this layered applique again one of those blings from NSK some wedding appliques um, and here's on the back you see some sorry ribbon and here's this few little um, resin flowers look how they are sparkling this is an NSK product all right so that was made on the live stream if you want to see more specific you know uh, things how I was thinking about it uh, you check that out so um, coming back to our um, to our envelope um, there's the wand okay so in here I just this was one of the first ones so I created a simple rosette without um, um, punched out edge the next one was a little bit small because when you punch and you know it eats a little bit like a quarter um, one quarter uh, of an inch of your um, paper so there it is it's smaller it's prettier and it has the dots all over and I distressed them and use uh, one of the pieces of the mesh bling to put it in the center I really really love those meshes we have them in different colors but you can gesso and actually I just seen uh, Jen uh, who is one of our designers she just gesso them and she put them in like a handmade um, album purse Oh my goodness, they look so beautiful. So here's some uh, tussles made out of the sari uh, ribbons. And in here I put some uh, doilies, um, layered doilies and uh, some of the applique from my stash and, the, uh, and a big, big half uh, flat back pearl from my personal stash. So that was the bond. Um, the tag is uh, one of probably my faves. Again, Prima tag for the background, and this is one of the this um, resin elements that I created via live stream at NSK in France. Uh, so thank you so much who was there for this event. And here again, you get in the uh, the tower of things going on. Um, so this is one of my favorite images of Alice. She's Victorian Alice and she's holding the rabbit right there um, if you know me enough you have seen this image already I you I made it in the fabric doll uh, I mean there is there was so many things that I've done with this image I absolutely love it um, uh, this is someone else's image so I do not have a copyright rights on that image so I'm just using it as a gift because I absolutely love 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 this um, image so in here you see uh, this um, uh, Venice applique and this is the flat back uh, roses that you're getting in a kit both elements you get in a kit so some feathers from my stash and then here I just created some um, whoopsie we we got we got an attachment so um, I got the um, I made the tag you know there's the cards um, there is one of the doilies, paper doilies on the background. This bleen is my personal stash that is coming from Shayla's bundles. The feathers are my stash, but in here you see I use the ribbon from the kit and this is a little snippet of the chain uh, from my shop, but it was just a little snippet that I had personally. And so here you see this flat back roses. I really think, you know, like I didn't color them red, but we have them in red in the shop because so that's what you you can do like you know painted bushes like in fairy tale right so there you go um applique there is a washi tape on the on the background right here underneath of her feet because you have an image coming like a little bit shorter and then what are you gonna do here's your washi tape that's that's how you use the washi tape okay so there's a beaded applique um 
and that is a stack of the cups with the hat that I pulled out of Pinterest and what I did actually I created this I cut out the slots and I tucked in uh, the elements I think bunny is permanently sitting in a cup so you can't remove him um, he is actually one of those washi tapes cre created on a piece of paper like I showed you with the Alice so and the cards you definitely can tuck in I love that hat like crazy um, here's another element of the mesh with the leaf that you get in any kit this set of doilies is my personal stash and the beads are my personal stash but this uh, a diamond um, element is the mesh I don't have it that black mesh right here so you just cut it in uh, four dots together and you put them on the diagonal and there is your element I absolutely love and I using that um, uh, effect uh, through the whole uh, project so I, if I see it I'll I'll mention it to you but anyway so here it is you can tug that in tug that in uh, behind Alice and we are uh, moving on on to the um, next level but I absolutely love this tag well the image makes the whole uh, difference all right so envelope again punch board nothing fancy I don't need to explain that uh, punch board and out of this beautiful paper that you get in the collection so and you go for a cheese uh, uh, I use the uh, Mod Podge, one of the tissue paper, some of the uh, saints. I just fuzzy cut that. Here's your filigree, uh, here's your mesh, here's your ribbon and stuff. So fuzzy cut the bush with a teacup, layer some scraps of paper and you're done. Ta da! Uh, so this is one of the personal stash uh, trims. This is the personal um, uh, trim which is actually an escape angle trim so you can buy that in the shop uh, this is the nice uh, way to finish uh, your um, you know edges so I really love 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 how it came out and here's you see like a little little sequences they came off the trim and that's how you can just put a little pop of the color use whatever you have so on the back you see this uh, the, the paper is absolutely beautiful so I mean they don't need much decoration I layered like a little edge in here you see I created like a corner with a mesh a filigree in here put a little sparkle here and there this element uh, this is one of those um, resin pieces that I created using the uh, the um, molds from NSK and uh, I just put the beads all around because I have them in here and I think it's correspond really nicely and I put a couple of roses fuzzy cut one of the um, flowers from the paper collection uh, that leaf trim another mesh uh, piece and this is the uh, one of the elements from the cards and so it makes it all goes together so that is the shabby uh, chic, uh, you know, the shabby chic uh, part of my um, uh, tags. Okay, so there you go. Paparazzi uh, uh, jewelry in use. Okay, all right, I'm moving on. And uh, the last but not least, also one of, I mean, I love Alice, so one of my favorites as well. Um, so in here, yes, it looks like really phenomenal and there is um, lots of stuff going on. Um, that's how it looks on the back. I absolutely love it. And um, so let's see, there is um, uh, the flag um, in here and I put the butterfly in here. And look how look how beautiful the paper is this is phenomenal uh, so yeah okay so uh, that's the flag and that is one of the so scraps of the bling from my personal stash and this is the gift I'm sure she's gonna love it that uh, industrial chick collection this is like really cool stuff I love it uh, and I'm hoarding for salon and now I'm giving it away but yeah hi 
no regrets whatsoever all right so uh, we're doing the tag right again um, da -da, uh, da -da, layers of the papers um, something I recorded actually uh, I might pop it up in the next video because this is gonna be a little bit too long because we're going over the details so a couple of the tags I actually recorded in a process uh, and so you will be able to see what I was doing uh, with them so stay tuned for that um, again a bunch of laces and trims and ribbons whatever you have will work uh, the doilies from the kids that's the scrap of paper goes all the way around I just scrolled a little pieces of here and there oh here is another element that I uh, fuzzy cut it here's the queen again this is the washi tape so yeah taken out washi tape washi tape washi tape okay so this is awesome uh so in in here okay uh this is the um the feather so basically what i use this time for the pocket i use this different mesh two rows of this mesh and it's you know open this is one of those venetian appliques and what i did i basically gessoed and then while the gesso was drying i glittered it so i toned the black down but black would go good with this collection because there is a lot of you know dark with uh, connected with Alice in Wonderland so yeah uh, here's this uh, flat back um, roses and you can buy them separately in the shop uh, so bleen from my stash and here's uh, the all the little doodads that come in 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 the uh, baggies and I basically toned them down by gessoing them and I just created dimensional border in here to connect um, here's the bow. Oh, here's the diamante element that I was uh, telling you. I really love how I found, you know, found about that. So this dude is on a spiral. He is shaking because he's flying. She's sure yet. And he has like a broken glass and what's not. And I love on the, the washi, t um, on the tissue paper that I decoupage in here. Um, there is a time, so that goes with the theme. Here's the filigree, and here's some washi tape in here, so you can see how cool it all looks. So um, I really, I'm really, really, really happy how this um, this um, turned out. This tag turned out. Um, so yeah, uh, you cannot go, um, it's so whimsical, the whole theme, so you cannot go wrong. So that is perfect. Boho and Alice, this is like one of the things that cannot be taken apart. So, and, uh, this is again, um, a regular envelope that was made with the punch board and regular paper. There is nothing fancy about it. Um, and in here, what I did, um, I think I recorded this one yeah uh, so I, I use one half of the doily in here then I use the scrap of paper across and I put the uh, opsalum in here and I gloss it here oh, I'm sorry um, so then the, that trim goes uh, on top so the second half of this doily I use underneath of the lay of the Alice I fuzzy cut her and I added some silks uh, from the uh, fabric bundle, so I kind of, you know, crumbled it so it will create more texture and movement. And in here I had this uh, top part left from the dangle trim, that one that NSK trim. And I use that snippet in here, one of the piece of the card. This is one of the Luisa's um, paper clips, leather paper clips. So I altered that. And in here, uh, so uh, NSK cotton trim, NSK mesh, um, NSK filigrees. And in here, uh, I created just a tag using the snippets of things, just scraps. You know some of that floral trim that you get this is the sequence trims that are at the shop that I was talking to you about and this is the watch element as uh, from the collection and uh, some of the sari ribbon so basically yay that's it and the back is this so um, um, I um, shrink 
the size of this um, paper you know I scanned it and I downsized it and reprint it so I cut out the center rolled it all out and I started to use the scraps of things like this is the scrap of doily from the mat header um, and a tag and this is another snippet left over from the paper that like there is the tag made with this paper and uh, so whatever I had scraps all going in here so then I just tore apart inked it and rolled it all out and that came out like this then I used the leftovers of that uh, border dangle trim from NSK because I had like a snippet laying around so I decided to finish it all in here um, and this applique was from one of the NSK sales um, it was in the kits so um, I don't know um, I think I have a few in the shop but by the time the uh, video is released I'm not sure if it's all gonna be sold out so um, yeah so if not yeah so too bad you need to attend the live streams that's it that's all I can tell you so um, that's it and uh, yeah so that is uh, the last uh, you know the last um, envelope and tag uh, for uh, my uh, swap and at this point I probably should say um, goodbye to you because it's gonna be too long I will um, add the uh, pictures of the project um, uh, in a slideshow uh, behind it and the next video will be the process video on a couple of these envelopes I think it's only envelopes so whatever it's gonna be it's gonna be I didn't record all of them if you have any questions on something details I will try to answer those but I think I pretty much covered it all so again that was uh, created with the NSK Alice in Wonderland kit um, if it's available it's available um, if not it's not so check out the other kits because there is a lot of fun stuff in our shop all right at this point I will say thank you for stopping by and uh, happy crafting talk to you later bye bye